A local news station in Minnesota is facing some big time backlash because they did a report that was misleading at best, flat out nefarious at worst. So they showed a picture of Minneapolis, I don't know why I have trouble with that word, Minneapolis Mayor Betsy Hodges uh, flashing what they say is gang signs. And she's in the picture with a young black male. So let's show you that. Oh, man. How outrageous. I guess she's part of a gang. I guess they must be gang members. I mean, hello, he's young and black. He's obviously in a gang. Duh. Now, what evidence do they have that the guy in the picture is in a gang? Nothing. Nada. None. Zilch. But they said it anyway. <laughs> who needs who needs facts? I mean, it's not like you're a news station. Oh, wait, that's exactly what you are. Uh, so, what evidence do they have, not only about the guy, but about the mayor? Uh, hey, not only is that guy in a gang, the mayor's in a gang, too. Just the fucking, she's pointing a finger. Just that? That's, that's your in, entire case. So, social media naturally went nuts over this. But come to find out, <laughs> the guy in the picture is, quote, in the Minnesota Democratic Farmer Labor Party and does community organization and civic outreach. Seems like a scary gang member, right? Is that a branch of the Crips? I don't know. I'll have to look that up and check. I mean, I guess it is. Farmer Labor Party community organization. Sounds like it's dangerous. Is he carrying a Glock? Mm. I haven't even gotten to the best part of the story yet. That picture that they took where they're pointing at each other and dumbass conservatives thought, gang, they're in a gang, they're in a gang. Uh, you know where that was taken? At a charity event. Fail is not a word strong enough to describe how badly this news organization screwed up. And I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i go a step further, because people on Twitter were saying, oh, this is racist. That's what this is. It's racist. Yeah, I think they're right. I, in fact, I don't, I don't know why I said I'm going to go a step further, like it's controversial. It's not controversial to say that. It's absolutely racist. If you're looking at a picture of a, a young black male and a white woman, and just because they're pointing at each other, you assume, gang signs, it's got to be gang signs. Why is that? Why is that? Uh, let's be serious. It's because you assume that it's a young black male. He's got to be up to no good. He's got to be in a gang. And then, oh, she's doing a sign too. So she must be in the gang. Big story. Okay, break it. Based on nothing. Based on absolutely nothing. Other than the fact that he's black, young, and male. God, they're so stupid. They're so... How could you think that? But that's the thing. There are people on this planet who really think that when they looked at that picture. They go, they must be in a gang. He's young, black, and male, and she's pointing at him, and she, he's pointing at her. They gotta be in a gang. He's young, black, and male. Hello? He's gotta be in a gang. Gotta be. Or you're an idiot who lives in a world where everything around you is a stereotype. And what's the irony? Of course, the irony is the people who are calling out the stereotypes, they are the stereotypes. The people who think, well, that's a gang, they're in a gang. You're the, you're the living stereotype. You're the embodiment of the fearful old white conservative. 